On this episode of $1,000 Car Guy, we're going to show you what it takes to remove this box from this box truck. Well, tell us how you found it. I went to the junkyard and seen a truck, and I was like, hey, how much for that truck? And it was pretty cheap, so I bought it. It's a 15 by 7 by 8. Once we get these storage racks out and stuff, there should be plenty of room for the Model A along with a couple toolboxes and stuff that got to get out of the shop. So if you're going to be using this for dry storage or for holding a car in it or whatever you're doing, uh, the first thing you got to do is get it off of the trailer itself. Now there's a couple ways you can do that. One common practice is to chop these off. Uh, we've got a Sawzall and a Plasma if it's need be. Uh, otherwise, there's no real way to just remove it. You're also going to have to remove all the electrical that runs underneath of it. You don't want any of those to get caught up. As far as unbolting the whole structure itself, you've got two options. This is bolted to this, and this is bolted to this. If you look underneath, there are rails that run widthwise that are bolted all the way down the line. The other option is removing the large U-bolts. When you take out these U-bolts, that wrap all the way around, that's a piece of wood in between the upper and lower C-channel. Once you take this off, it means you can separate the top half from the bottom. So the whole trailer will then sit on that upper C-channel. Uh, also, the wood in the front of it is being held together there as well. So you'll basically have to take the whole thing with you. So two schools of thought depends on how you want it to sit on the ground. The direction we're going to be going in is removing the U-bolts. So once we get all them out, we'll check back in. <laughs> don't catch me doing ghetto stuff. Shh, don't tell anyone. Wow. All right, plasma it is. While Leon plasmas everything off of it, I'm gonna go ahead and start clipping all the wires that go to the back tail lights and get all that out of our way. I saved this license plate light because, well, it's free. All of the U-bolts have been removed from the driver's side. So that's all the U-bolts in total. If you cut them at the top, then you only have to cut them once. Then you can kind of pry them apart and let them fall down. See the frame here? That's part of the truck and then this is part of the so, uh, got all the side shelving out. It's all over there now. So, that's great. The next thing is going to be cutting off the back of this frame. And once that's done, it's time to start yanking. I like it. One hell of a shed, boy. Now cutting off the back of the structure. Okay, so we just went through and took out all these screws and ground down the rivets that are holding this piece in. We're gonna to try to yank it out of there. And then <clears throat> what we're going to do is try to get all these ground out <clears throat> so we can separate the box from the truck. All right, on to the next step. Look, we have here, all the way down, or all around the cab. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to take our flapper disc and grind the heads off. So the reason Leon had to grind off all those rivets on the inside was because that's how they affix this cab to the box itself. Uh, unlike a lot of other ones where there's a split in between, see how this one's been silicone or RTV'd the whole way? Well, on the inside, that's how they use all the rivets. So essentially, because they're made of a hardened material, he had to flap or disc all of them off, and then that will allow the box to then pull, hopefully, straight out that way. If we tried to do it, um, <laughs> we'd just be pulling the truck backwards, which is kind of what happened before. Uh, we did a sample run where we thought we got everything, and clearly we didn't. So basically, make sure to find all of your mounting points before you try and remove the box. Simple enough, right? All that's left now is to remove all the remaining pieces that hold the back setup, the steps, to the frame. I know we've said that a few times over this, but 
We continue to find more and more things that are holding us up. Make sure you get everything. Now got some literal sticks holding it up in the front off of the chassis of the E350. So the next thing to do, since uh, it seems like we busted the winch on the four-wheeler, is get in here with a real truck and pull this truck out, then move the box. All right, so we have the tow truck here, and we are going to winch the truck over the stump. Okay, so hopefully when the tire goes up, it doesn't knock it off of this stick that we put there. Uh, we'll see. We're using both the winches because it's kind of heavy. Well, that worked better than expected. <laughs> Alrighty, so off to the junkyard this guy goes. Come on now! <laughs> And away we go. So basically what our master plan is here, we take the jack and we lower it onto another board. Then we take the jack out, put a lower board on it, lower it down, and continue till it's all the way to the ground. I did it one time and it was successful. So hopefully we can do it all the way to the ground without it falling onto that stump and killing the corner of it. We'll try it. Okay, so we were pulling it on boards started way over there getting there but the boards keep stopping the winch so went and got some PVC pipes and going to try it again hopefully it rolls a little easier that's actually like a hundred times easier Sweet. So the plan is we're gonna try to stick it in that little cutaway right there. And then we're gonna try to tuck it up under these branches here so that the uh, it kind of covers it up so it doesn't look too bad. We're gonna paint it green, make it a nice little shed. Just one foot at a time. All right, everybody. We have our shed now in place. Now what? Now what do we do? Now we fill it. Well, here we are a few days later. It's all stocked up. We got the Model A in there. Everything's been sitting pretty. Uh, no water leaks or anything to mention. And yeah, this was definitely one of the best deals that you could possibly go with in order to get a really cheap enclosed garage. Thanks very much for watching this episode. I hope you've enjoyed. Now we gotta go find some more of these box trucks. See you on the next one.